So moving along in our series of the five things that you should get from your accountant after your tax filing, we're on point number four, and this is special circumstance. And a special circumstance usually only happens one time or once every several years. And I find that special circumstances can't be always identified unless you have a tax accountant that also incorporates planning. So what makes us special is we do the full financial planning for our clients. So we know what's going on with regards to kids and moving and selling assets and all the other important things going on in our life. So we can combine them and incorporate them with the tax filing. So here's just a few ideas of some special circumstances that we pay attention to. And we could come up with tons of different examples based on very you know, unique situations. So one is the age of 64 and old age security. So as soon as we see um, age 64, we instantly start doing planning for our clients that we wouldn't normally do. Under normal tax filing situations, you would simply just file the tax return as normal, send it out, um, you know, sign it off and file and move on. But those who are 64 are in a special circumstance because when they're 65, they're eligible for old age security if your income allows. So that's where we dive deep and really start planning with our clients on what we need to be doing in order to try to maximize our old age security. And so I wanna talk about one point where um, with old age security, there's some people that are on auto apply. So if you're someone that's on auto apply, you'll get a letter and it'll say that you're automatically being applied for um, old age security. You'll get this when you're 64 and it'll just automatically happen when you're 65. So the, one of the important parts here is that that's a year apart and you may not remember you're on auto apply. If you know you're going to be, um, let's say 100% clawed back for old age security, you wanna make sure you're not auto applied or you wanna make sure you don't apply for old age security because you'll get 100% clawed back. So that part's still gonna happen with your situation, but what we would do with our clients is we would delay applying for old age security. And what this allows is we would actually get a enhanced value by delaying the application. So this is about timing of the application and for people who have clawback. But again, if you have someone that's not tax filing and planning for you, these important pieces are going to be missed and you're going to be out the extra uh, eligibility amount that you would be, um, you know, you might be entitled to with old age security. The other point with old age security is it's income based. So when we know someone's had a really heaped um, income year, and this could be because of a sale of an asset, it might be because you retired and you received a retirement allowance. What we would do with our clients is again, because we're planning with them, take it a step further because we're gonna know the following year they might have an extremely low income because they're now retired. We can apply to have the um, recovery tax um, not applied. So these are the special circumstances. Some other areas, we pay attention to dependents. So when dependents are no longer dependents. And although this isn't a huge tax saver or a huge you know, change, we want to make you aware of it because three things are happening when your dependents are no longer dependents. First of all, if you live in Saskatchewan, your tax credits will be less because you're not able to claim dependents um, credits anymore. Some other things that could be happening, however, though, is maybe tuition's kicking in. So then maybe you actually have enhanced credits. So that's something else we look at and we want to just make you aware and do the planning around the area of when your dependents are no longer dependent because the situation, you know, and, the, and your tax situation is changing. Some other things that um, we all often pay attention to and are aware of is disability tax credit. So if you don't know to tell your accountant and your accountant doesn't know and isn't asking, which typically you don't ask during tax filing season, who has time? to see how kids or family members are doing or maybe how you're doing and if somebody in the family might be eligible for the disability tax credit. Because we're doing planning and then tax filing, it just comes together and we will often know when the disability tax credit needs to be applied for. There's some situations where kids are very high functioning, a parent may not feel that they're, you know, quote unquote disabled, but they may be able to qualify for the credit. And this is the, some of the items and the special circumstances that um, we're able to bring to your attention. Okay, so what are the other ideas I jotted down here? Uh, selling assets, that's another big one. So 
tax filing season happens and the info is sent in and you just file. And so when you sell assets, it's very important. So you have to be planning ahead when you're going to sell an asset because you might make different decisions today based on a future asset being sold. So if you have land you're planning to sell or a cabin or some sort of capital asset that's going to trigger large gain a couple years out, what we start to do is plan now in order for that large um, tax gain that could happen in the future. What we might do is not contribute to RSPs this year because we might want to accumulate them for a future tax year where you're going to have a lot more tax owing. These are the special circumstances that just aren't talked about during regular tax filing. So this is the special combination of working with a team that does tax filing, tax planning, financial planning, and looks at all areas of your financial situation. I strongly advise you either get all your professionals together working for you on your side or work with a tax filing accountant that will incorporate planning in with your financial situation.